Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat. And if you're new around here, first thing you're going to want to do is click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our daily uploads here on the channel. Every single day we've got a video coming out. And uh, today's video is going to be kind of a follow-up uh, to a video I posted a couple days ago about uh, the OPZ playing triplets. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to kind of jam on the drums with some triplets and kind of see if we can give the OPZ a little more of a swingy feel. Um, I know you can quantize it with swing. Maybe we'll do that, but I don't know. I just wanted to do something uh, a little different than the standard like four on the floor stuff I usually do on here. So uh, I wanted to start with the arpeggiator track and uh, make sure we have a blank pattern. Yep. So we're going to start with the arpeggiator track and we are going to put it into quarter note triplets. So we're going to go to what is normally the LFO page, the blue lights, which I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, let's just, let's like play in D maybe. Uh, I don't know. So, right there, you can very clearly hear that those are 16th notes. So, if we turn this, now we're at uh, eighth note triplets. Maybe that's our pattern. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. So that sounds like it's four measures long. So here we go. All right, I messed that up. So uh, with when you're recording triplets uh, and stuff on the arpeggiator track, you've got to be very, very precise uh, when you're in live punch-in mode, which I prefer live punch-in mode. Um, being a more traditional musician, that just makes a little more sense to me than uh, fiddling with the buttons. But we might have to resort to that if I can't get this in the first couple takes here. So let's uh, let's do the thing I've been doing a lot of lately, and uh, play an intro. Actually, first we're gonna copy this into pattern two, then make sure we're still on pattern one. I've been using like a low pass filter. And then just kind of jumping right into the track. So uh, that'll be, that'll be kind of cool. Let's uh, go to a bass track. So I'm going to try not to quantize uh, with swing at all. I'm going to try to do everything live played in real time. Uh, so it's going to take a couple tries to get everything right. But uh, yeah, hopefully it works. I'm pretty happy with that bass sound. It's uh, it's nothing crazy today. So uh, let's go ahead and arm this to record again and uh, cross our fingers and look like the world's worst piano player here. And of course, in true free beat fashion, I forgot to set it to four measures long. <laughs> so let's try that again. I'm pretty happy with that. That is quite all right with me. Um, we're going to copy pattern one, uh, actually no, we'll copy pattern two into pattern three. And then we're gonna tone the bass down for uh, pattern three, which let's make sure, yep, we are in pattern three. Uh, so we're still on the bass track. So we're gonna, we're gonna tone it down a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of play with some parameters up here and see what we can do. Like how I said, let's uh, tone it down and it just got crazy. Let's, let's take all that delay off first right now. And all the reverb, why not? There we go. Um, so that'll, that'll work a lot better in the, uh, in the core or the verses, whatever you want to call these. Um, let's take the arpeggiator out now, actually. And uh, let's go to a chord track 
And I want something really stabby. Let's come up from the depths of hell where our octave was. I want something really stabby. And I always forget what the synth engines are. I just keep pressing until I hear something remotely close. Is this the one I want? That's the one. Cool. Uh, let's add a little delay. Yeah. What's this do? Nope, that's like a detune. I don't like that. That's like a white noise. That's kind of neat. Let's... Yeah. Maybe a little less delay. There we go. Oh, we're in D, not A. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's just uh, play that. We're going to set this to four. Look, I remembered. Leave a like on this video if you're proud of me for remembering. And yeah, let's go. Oh, except I went the other way, didn't I? And apparently we only need this to be twice as long, so maybe maybe don't leave that like. <laughs> Let's go. I'm really digging that bass. Um, I'm thinking we open it up, maybe, on uh, the last time through. Maybe? Uh, I've been having really bad luck with whoops with the OPZ not saving my parameter changes and then uh, kind of bugging out with the parameter spark component spark uh, step component so I'm just gonna make a whole new pattern since we're clearly not gonna come close to using all 16 of them on this song I'm just gonna make a new pattern for it and uh, just take care of everything in the pattern chain so now we're gonna go to base and uh, as this progresses we're gonna want the filter to open up so See what I mean? I don't know what's going on. There we go. There we go. And I thought we got rid of the delay, but... And it's probably, honestly, not the OPZ's fault. It's probably me not noticing something or forgetting something. Um, but... Oh, well. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Someone will uh, leave a comment. I forgot who it is. Uh... Someone, either on Reddit or on YouTube, always responds and gives, like, the best feedback, and I, I always learn so much from their comments. But, uh, let's go back. Yeah, let's go back to this here, our chorus, if you will. And, uh, now we'll add some chords over it. And, actually, we're gonna go to, uh, patch, or pattern number four, because that's where the good chord track was stored. We're gonna... Press it twice, three, uh, twice, and then put it there. And that's going to copy just the pattern settings, so not the actual track. Or the, the track setting, sorry, but not the actual track. And uh, let's remember what we're playing here. And uh, let's remember to make this four measures long. cool i'm really i'm really excited to play drums to this it should be super fun let's uh i think did we just keep it at 120 yes we totally did um if you guys actually if you want to know real quick i don't think i've ever mentioned this to check the tempo you just hold the metronome and it will flash the the two or three numbers that your tempo is so one two zero uh so really cool and to change it you can hold it and either turn the green dial to change it incrementally or you can hold down the metronome button and then literally just type in your tempo it's super easy very very intuitive and, uh, yeah, if you already knew that, sorry to waste your time with all that. Let's see, what were we going to do? Oh, yeah, let's make an ending. So let's just copy this whole pattern into the last slot here. And we're just going to erase the chord track and then go...
Actually, nope, we're just going to do one stab. And now we're going to go into the bass track. Oh, but the stab needs to be in D, not whatever I just played. <laughs> cool. And uh, with the delay, that should sound pretty good. So uh, now we're in the bass track. Yep, that's good. Cool. And there's our ending. Yep. Let's turn the metronome off and just see how, how that comes in like that. <laughs> yeah, I like that it's straight when this whole track has been swung. Uh, cool, I think we're ready. Let's pop over to the drum set and jam along to this. All right, here we are at the drums. We've got the second angle set up for the OPZ. The camera is on the verge of dying, though, so hopefully it doesn't. But uh, let's get rolling. Here we go. sweet but uh, that definitely proves that the uh, OPZ can uh, can indeed do it so uh, thank you guys very much for watching if you had a good time go ahead and click the like button if you didn't and you thought some of my fills were in really poor taste they were hit the dislike button that's okay too either way be sure to click subscribe so you can come back every day for the daily uploads every single day put out one of these videos exploring the OPZ or some other fun synthesizer type thing maybe the drum set at all I just realized my crash symbol has moved quite far in the past like month I've been making these videos. I haven't readjusted it. I should do that. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.